welcome to our service this morning. We just want to thank you all uh, that have joined us over the week. We hope you've enjoyed the Holiday Club as much as we have. Today we'll be having two songs instead of the normal one and have an, a talk for you to listen to. So let's get started with our first song. Here it comes. Got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. Put on. We can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one. Put on. to fight Goliath. King Saul tried to give him his armour to wear, but it was just too heavy for him. Now these days soldiers don't wear armour, but you might find it interesting to know that many Christians wear armour every day. But remember, it's not real armour that we can see. Do you remember Geoffrey thinking he had to make his own armour? But what do we need armour for though? The devil wants to, us to mess up and do things that God doesn't want us to do. Now the Bible calls that sin. He might try to get you to do things uh, like being interested in violent video games or watch shows on TV that you're not supposed to watch or do things that you're not supposed to be doing. You might also be pressured by your friends. They might try to get you to do things that you know that God wouldn't want you to do. But by putting on the armour of God, you'll be able to stand up to those things and do what's right. The armour will give you God's help to fight against the bad in the world. But what was the armour of God? Do you remember what the pieces were? The first piece that we did was the belt of truth. Now the belt of truth helps us to stand strong and remember the truth that we know about God. On the first day of our holiday club, we learnt about three friends who stood strong, even though the king said, and actually did, said that he would throw them in the fiery furnace. Now we know the truth by reading the Bible. We can know by the spirit that God gives us, the telling us what's right. And we can do it from learning from other people who believe in God. The second piece was the breastplate of righteousness. This piece protects your heart. And we can protect our heart 
by confessing any sin that we have, anything that we've done wrong, we can admit that to God and to say sorry for everything that we've done wrong. Then after the breastplate, we've got the shoes of peace. Now Paul told us that the shoes help us to be prepared to go and share the good news about Jesus. Do you remember the story we had about the two friends who met Jesus walking down the road? Now, they didn't know it was Jesus at the time, but he showed them everything the Bible said about Jesus. And when they got to the end of their journey and they realised that it was Jesus who was telling them these things, they got right back up and ran all the way back from where they'd come from to go and tell the other people. Now, What's next? It's the shield of faith. Now a shield is a pretty handy thing to have, isn't it? You can use it to protect you against all sorts of things that people might throw at you. And when you believe in God, faith can do the same thing. Sometimes the devil will try to tell us that there isn't a God or that he doesn't love us because we've done things wrong. Now when that happens, we need to hold up our shields and stop these thoughts when they happen and remember that God loves us no matter what. And then on Friday, we looked at the helmet of salvation. This is what protects our minds. And sometimes we need to remember that we are God's children and that he loves us and he'll help us. But all we've got to do is ask. We also need to remember what we've read in the Bible and what we've learnt about God from our parents or from the church and that will help us to make the right decisions. Now, those were the five pieces that we looked at over the holiday club over this last week. But did you know there's another piece? It's called the Sword of the Spirit. Now the sword is the, is the Bible, it's the Word of God. And the Spirit is the Holy Spirit that works within us. It's the Spirit of God. Now we can use that sword to cut out anything bad in our lives. And by remembering God's Word, which is the Bible, we'll be able to know what is good and what is bad. So the armour of God is actually pretty cool. It's like having special powers, but they're invisible. However, the only way that this armour will work is if Jesus lives inside you. Do you remember Chris telling Geoffrey that wearing his helmet wouldn't give him salvation? Now the Bible tells us that God loves us so much that he sent his only son Jesus to the world to save us. And while he was on earth, Jesus told us that he is the way, the only way. You have to believe in him and accept him into your life. And when Jesus lives in your heart, he's with you always. Now, if you want to talk about anything that we've said this week or any of the Bible stories that we've told, then please get in touch. We'd love to chat with you about it. And we have one more song to go. It's Dylan's favourite and he sings it all the time. Before we go, May God bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you. Amen. Should not
So that's the end of the service and the end of the Holiday Club for this year. We hope you've enjoyed your week with us and I hope to see you again next year. Yep, that's it for us, uh, from the four of us. And uh, we just want to say bye and thank you. See you soon. Bye! bye.